Hey, it's James Raby. We have to say something here, but I don't want to say much. Thanks for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand Podcast. Love you. Today, it's 58 right now. It's going to be a gorgeous sunny day for a bit, then get cloudy. Hi, it's James Raby on the Y105 FM Early Morning Show. Am I the jerkhead crap face? This is a What Would You Say Wednesday, so that means we're asking what you would say to this person. Are they the jerkhead crap face for giving my son's ex a reality check? She says, I don't, I don't really know the full details, but my son broke up with his girlfriend for college due to, uh, due to the distance. He did, or rather from college due to the distance. He didn't really show any emotions, but it was clear that he was a bit sad. I mean, I, I get it. They were together for two years and she was a sweet girl. I was also aware that they had planned on staying friends. Yesterday, his ex-girlfriend knocked at our door. I let her in and she just, she just started bawling. Obviously, I comforted her and asked her if any, everything was okay, and she told me she thinks my son has found a new girl. Oh, instantly awkward. Mucho awkwardo, as they say in France. I already knew, but I didn't know exactly what to say, so I just said, I'm, I'm sorry. But she kept crying and told me about how she didn't think he'd move on that fast and how he doesn't really talk to her anymore. She then showed me a picture of my son with the girl he likes. My husband was really uncomfortable, and my other son also had some friends over, so the situation was really weird. So what do I say to that? I took her outside and told her, you know, I'm I'm sorry, but maybe you should talk to your own mom or friends about this. She's got really wide-eyed and said, you don't think what he's doing is wrong? Oh, Oh, that is such a hard situation to be in. Uh, The mom says, I just sighed and said, listen, stuff happens, but life goes on. You'll get over it. I thought I did pretty well considering the circumstances, but she began to cry even louder. She called me terrible and said she expected me to be more understanding since I've known her as my son's girlfriend for two years. If I can throw her away like this, then it's no wonder my son can as well. Oh, that's what I mean. It's hard, you know. She's still she's still in love with the guy, it seems. And he's moved on. And if this is the first time this ever happened to you, oh, my gosh. So it's, I would hate to be this mom. She called me a mean person before getting in her car and driving away. I I really didn't expect the reaction, so I'm a bit surprised. I mean, I suppose I could have been more understanding, but I didn't want to give her false hope. My husband doesn't really care. He's just happy she left. (laughs) But my sister thinks I'm stupid because the girl didn't come over to get a reality check. She wanted some support. I didn't even mean for my words to come off as a reality check, but maybe, maybe I did come across as mean. Am I the jerkhead crap face? And, of course, you responded on the Y105 FM Facebook page beautifully. Alexis Ray Adler said she should have gone to her own mom. Sounds like she wanted you to lay into your son, who's happy where he is now. Renee said, no, you're not a jerkhead crap face. Girl needs to get a grip on reality. Oh, Renee, that's tough. It's not not inaccurate, but, oof. That would take it to see her her crying harder if you said that. Alisa, oh, sorry, Alizia said it's hard to not give advice when they aren't asking for it. Yeah, it's 100% true. And uh, we'll, we'll stop for now with Jan Smith-Jensen's. Jensen, she says, sounds like she has a lot of growing up to do, and perhaps her parents spoon-fed her with sugar with everything. Time to grow up, girl. Life in Mayberry doesn't exist. Besides, in Mayberry, they were all single and happy. Good for you for saying what you did to her. And then someone commented below that. Well, except for Otis, who was married and drunk all the time. Wah, wah, wah. You're listening to Y105 FM's early morning show. What do you think? Give me a call. 507-292-1053. What would you say? Are you already exhausted from all... My son's ex-girlfriend, a reality check? Hi, it's James Raby. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. Every Wednesday, we get an I am, am I the jerk head crap face? Sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's not. So far, everyone on our Facebook page agrees. Uh, this is not a jerk head crap face situation. Mom was in a hard place. Ex-girlfriend came over and was just super upset that her son had moved on already while his ex-girlfriend had not. It's a very tough situation to be in. So Kim Hill said something I thought was just fantastic. No, you're not the jerkhead crap face. Your son's allowed boundaries. Regardless of the reason for the breakup or his current relationship status, you are first and foremost his support system. His boundaries rule. I experienced something similar, and it got drawn out when the ex trying to get me and our family on their side in an attempt to regain the lost relationship. Oh, the ex was trying to get you and the family on his side. That is, or their side. That is. Whew. Yeah, my uh, ex-girlfriend. Long ago, wrote my mom letters telling her how she was worried about me. And my mom was worried at first till she talked to me. 
And I told her, oh, no, that's that uh, that's that girlfriend I told you about. Oh, oh, okay. But she was trying the same thing. It's just so, what? As much as it hurts when our kids break up with long-term relationships we had come to know, it is their decision. We need to hold their boundary and trust. Kim Hill, that's just fantastic. My sister Kate even agreed with you. She said, Kim Hill, well said. And Kayla Knutson said, we could always be more sympathetic, but to me it sounds like the ex was looking for mom to put an end to something they had no control over. Yes, she was the son's girlfriend for two years, and sure, there could have been attachments, but the son's relationships are none of mom's business. Means they don't control who he does, does not date, and they still did the right thing by telling the ex, you need to move forward. Again, They are nicer ways to go about it, but I applaud her for not trying to split up their son and possible new girlfriend over an ex having a meltdown. Yeah, and it it is tough. It is hard to experience your first one. And two years is a bunch of time. You can still be friends. It's just, I mean, mom and the girlfriend, you can still be friends. It's just mm, tough to go through. You want to comment? Feel free on the Y105 FM Facebook page. Four Rochester residents are among the 47 people charged in a fraud case At over $250 million, next in the Y105 FM Early Morning Show News Minute. Are you already exhausted from all... Rochester residents are among the 47 people charged in connection with what federal prosecutors have described as the largest COVID fraud case in the USA. Good morning, I'm James Raby. This is the Y105 FM Early Morning Show News Minute. Do we have rain today? No, but there is rain coming up. They are in like 60 seconds. They are, are... The rain's not coming up in 60 seconds. You know what I mean. I'll talk about it then. They are accused of participating in a scheme that defrauded the Federal Children's Nutrition Program by falsely claiming they are running meal distribution centers for kids during the pandemic. How much money? $250 million worth. Wow. See the Rochester defendants on the Y105 FM app. More stories you'll find on the Y105 FM app this morning. A Minneapolis woman was killed in a construction zone crash on Highway 52 in Goodhue County Monday morning. The victim of the 64th homicide in Minneapolis this year was a Rochester man. And the Minnesota Court of Appeals says the COVID-19 lockdowns were not unconstitutional. And the rabies shots. This is so odd, it could only happen in Florida. Florida. Two doughheads in the Disney state were craving Taco Bell and a 75-inch flat screen TV. They stole the TV from Walmart, jammed it into the back of their Escalade, and drove next door to Taco Bell where they were eating their delicious Taco Bellness when the police came in and arrested them for theft. The best part? In the 300 feet they drove to Taco Bell, they didn't notice the TV fell out of their Escalade. <laughs> oh, supreme doheadery in Florida. Florida! Flirting without touching, cheating. That's the question right now on the Y105 FM Early Morning Show. Hi, I'm James Raby, and we have some music made specifically for this by one of our new guys at work. It's called The Cheating Music. Wow, apparently saxophones equals cheating. So what do you think, Andy? Is is flirting without touching, is that cheating? I wouldn't say it's cheating, but it is definitely wrong. You okay. gotta set boundaries in your relationship with anybody. You're not you're not physically having any kind of physical contact with the person, but yet it's wrong for you to be doing that if your other partner doesn't know that you're doing that. Then you're basically keeping secrets and keeping things from them. Right. Well, I think that's emotional cheating is what that is. Um, Newsweek magazine says that Adam Levine has released a statement that read, uh, if you haven't heard, Summer Stroh posted a video on uh, which she claims she had an affair with Adam Levine. Adam says, a lot is being said about me right now, and I want to clear the air. I use poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period in my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. My wife and my family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was the greatest mistake I could ever make. I will never make it again. I take full responsibility. I We will get through it, and we'll get through it together. Uh Someone get this man a dictionary, says Summer. <laughs> um, so that's why that's why it's a conversation. You know, if if all he did was flirt, is that cheating? I well, let's go to you. Um, who's on the line, Barb? Barb? No, Beth. I'm sorry, Beth. What do you say? I've had it happen to me before, physically and emotionally, and I would say they both hurt equally the same. Yep. So yes, it's cheating, definitely. Yeah. 
been three years going, and it's still a work in progress. But we have four kids, and he took accountability, and I mean that's just what has to happen in that situation. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for thanks for calling in, Beth. I appreciate it. No, I, you got to get off your break. I apologize for making you hang out so long on the phone. It is Y one hundred five FM's early morning show. It happened to me, absolutely. You know, um, one ex girlfriend thought there was no problem, no problem, and not with friendly flirting, like just the pretty, you know, being nice and kind of stuff like that. It's the ones where you are really putting yourself out there. She was being extra nice to people and was surprised that they all thought she was hitting on them. And I said, well, then you're, you're, you're cheating on me. You're emotionally giving yourself to them instead of me. And she's like, that's not true. Like, oh, all right. And sadly, it took me like three years to break up with her. <laughs> Woof. Bad news. Bad news bears. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. The 8 a.m. all music hour kicks off next. And it's another chance to win the 30K at work payday. It's the Y105 FM 30K word. Five, it is Adventures in Dating with Keisha on Y105 FM. Boy, that thunder goes a long time. That's a lot of thunder. Thunder. Anyway, if you missed this week's, I got it for you here on Y105 FM's early morning show. So I went through a whole phase where the only time I engaged in a conversation was using quotes from the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this. Go ahead. So... I literally, my opener line to somebody was just, troll in the dungeon. Thought you ought to know. And his response back, he goes, I'm sorry. I don't think I get the Dungeons and Dragons reference. <sighs> mm. I was like, that guy's not a keeper because he did not get that that was from Harry Potter. No, no, that's obviously, you know what that is? That is what I would call a uh, generation gap that cannot be bridged. Yeah. Well, and that was my test. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And so I was like, I'm going to see how many people figure out that some of these quotes are coming from Harry Potter. And I've had, I had some people that engaged in some great conversations, but that dude, I was like, hmm. Mm. He could have been like, hey, that sounds familiar from somewhere. And even if he had Google search, like it would have come up. It's a popular meme even. Well, and that's the thing. With the Googles available, what you had there was a guy that's not a problem solver. So it's good to toss right. that back. Right. My buddies and I back in Michigan when I was learning radio, I was young, I was like 21, and we were all working in the same market together. We talked both in acronym and movie quotes so often I had a girlfriend get mad at me. <laughs> in fact, one, one really funny thing that happened with her, um, and I wasn't kidding when we talked in an acronym, you know, uh, hey, how you doing? We just use the letters. One time, we're doing that in uh, my friend George's place, and Lisa is there, and she says, look it, you guys got to stop talking like this, or I'm leaving. And I said something like, W? And <laughs> she's like, starts marching out, and she had a good march out. <laughs> and as she ran, as she, as she went to her car to drive away, I yelled, CB! CB! <laughs> I love it. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. Never miss an episode by subscribing to Y105 FM's early morning show radio on demand podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, wherever you get that kind of stuff on your phone, just subscribe and it'll show up on your phone every single day. And it's just the, the just the words. Just the words, none of the music. It's Y105 FM. It's the Y105 FM. No heads in the news here on the Y105 FM early morning show. But today I got to take a break from it because I just I just came across something and I can't wait till tomorrow to talk about this. It's just so cool. It's on Spotted in Rochester and Christine McNamara said, huge shout out to the workers early in the morning at the Civic Center Quick Trip. There's usually five regulars there when we go, Kelsey, Garrett, and I'm not sure of the other names. My three-year-old son loves stopping in the morning for yogurt or applesauce and chocolate milk before daycare. This morning before leaving, my son wanted to say bye to Kelsey and gave her knuckles. She said it made her day, and she wanted to take him home with her. Thank you guys for being awesome and amazing as always. I love it. I, and I know exactly what Kelsey's talking about. Sometimes the smallest gesture is just such a huge thing, such a day brightener. And I'm glad you shared that, Christina. Thank you so much for doing that. That's just awesome. <sighs> All right, get ready for the Y105 FM 30K at work payday code coming up just after 10 o'clock with Michelle. It's 
the Y105 FM. Hey, it's James Raby. Thank you so much for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand podcast. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in Monday through Friday between 6 and 10 for more fun than you can shake a stick at.